Today on Football Profile, we look at the wizard of the dribble, Sir Stanley Matthews. Born in Stoke in 1915, he started his career at Stoke City. At the club, he became the best winger in the country. His speed made him hard to contend with, gliding across the pitch with a heavy lever ball and a bag of tricks that were revolutionary. Whilst not a prolific goalscorer, he was a creative genius, ripping defenders apart down the wing and providing for his strikers. An innovator to the core, he dedicated himself to rigorous training regimes. Eating healthily and never smoking, in an era where this was rare, he was one of a kind. He joined Blackpool in 47, starring in one of the best sides in the world at the time. In the 53 FA Cup final, dubbed the Matthews final, he ran the show, driving the club to victory over Bolton and claiming the first ever Ballon d'Or. He returned to Stoke in 61, playing with the club until the age of 51, an unthinkable achievement in the modern era. For England, he earned 54 caps, his dribbling ability wowing the international stage as he redefined the qualities of a footballer across the globe. Sir Stan was the ultimate professional. His legacy is momentous and he will be forever known as one of the greatest of all time.